Have you ever known a person who enjoys giving you bad news? You know, the type that always sees the negative in everything? A few weeks ago, I was at my part-time job, waiting in line to use a microwave. When my coworker Marlene walks in and steps in line behind me. Now Marlene, she's in her mid-30s, tall, long brown hair, and a true pessimist. She says, Zena, you look exhausted. How's pregnancy treating you? <laughs> Hi, Marlene. I do? Well, right now I'm feeling fine. In fact, this pregnancy has been easy breezy. I could do this again. <laughs> oh, really, Zena? The worst is yet to come. Wait until you go into labor. I was in labor for 36 hours, and you haven't felt pain until you felt labor pain. It is the worst pain you'll ever feel. I'm talking atomic bomb level pain. And not just that, at the end, you might rip. I ripped 12 stitches. Then she just walks off without using the microwave. So I'm making back to the lunch table, and I'm sitting there thinking, the worst pain I'll ever feel? Atomic bomb? Ripping? Stitches? Okay, Zena. Okay. Stop hyperventilating and eat your food. I can't eat my food. I just lost my appetite. So there I was, sitting there, picking over my food. And then it came to me. Zena, you'll get an epidural. Yes. That's precisely what you'll do. You'll be fine. But what if it's too late and you can't get one? I'm scared. And everybody, when I say scared, I do mean scared. Not many people know, but I have an extremely low tolerance for pain. I'm the type of woman who uses a Band-Aid for a pain recovery. <laughs> I mean, at this point, fear had completely set in. I worried for days. I put it out of my mind, but sure enough, it just popped back up. I didn't know what to do. So, I did what everyone does. I Googled it. I Googled fear. And I learned something. I learned that fear is false evidence appearing real, which means that our brains have a difficult time distinguishing between something that's real and something that's imagined. I also learned that when you fear something in the future, it does two things. It stresses you out, and it causes nasty side effects like headaches, difficulty making decisions, irritability, and it also robs you of peace of mind in the present. And that's exactly what I was doing thinking about my labor. Yeah, I do know that the whole childbirthing process will be atomic bomb level pain, but I've accepted that fact. And I've decided to enjoy the rest of my easy breezy pregnancy. That's right, no more fear. And whenever fear tries to make an appearance, I say, fear, my baby's not due yet. And I'm definitely not in labor. So that means you're early to the party. So you better hit the road, Jack, and don't come back until my water breaks. Thank <laughs> you.